Hi, everybody. Okay, I just wanted to take a couple moments here and talk about negative exponents here, okay? Um, just make sure that this makes, makes sense to everybody here. So let's start off with something like this. I know that if I've got a to the fifth divided by a cubed, that that's the same as a times a times a times a times a, all divided by a times a times a, okay? And this is exactly what those, those exponents mean here. Now, because of the relationship between multiplication and division, I can kind of do this in, in an order of my choosing here. So one of the things I can do here is I can take this a and that a and divide them. And I'm going to get one out of that. I can take that a and that a and divide that and get a one, that a and that a and get a one. And then I'm left with a multiplied by a. And so the result here is I get that a to the fifth over a cubed is the same as a squared. Now, that's probably saying something that you're already quite familiar with. You know that if you've got a to the fifth over a cubed, that is the same as a to the five minus three. Okay, so I have five, uh, five factors of a in the numerator, and I'm basically, I'm subtracting from that group the, the three that are in the denominator, and I'm going to be left with a squared. Okay, so basically the rule here is that if you're dividing powers, you subtract exponents, right? So a to, let's say, x over a to the y is equal to a to the x minus y. You know that. Now, if I've got exactly the same amount there, if I've got a to the fifth over a to the fifth, well, in that particular case here, I've got five of them over five of them. They all cancel here, and I'm left with just one. It's just one times one times one, times one and so on. And just get a one there. If I utilize my subtracting of the exponents there, I get a to the five minus five, which is a to the zero. And I know that that must be equal to one. Okay, so I know that that's true. Now, so with this little bit in mind, we're just gonna go one step further. Well, what if it goes the other way around? What if we've got a cubed over a to the fifth, in which case I have three factors of a in the numerator and five in the denominator. So just like what happened before, that becomes a one, that becomes a one, that becomes a one. But what I'm left over with here are two factors of a in the denominator it becomes a squared. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here a little bit and I'm going to apply our, our rule that tells us we can subtract exponents. This is becomes a to the three minus five. And I know that must be a to the negative two because three minus five is negative two. So what I, what I end up with here is a situation where these two expressions must be the same. Okay, a, uh, 1 over a squared must be the same as a to the negative 2 because they are both equal to a cubed divided by a to the fifth. Now, with that said, one thing that we can do, and that probably makes sense to a lot of people here, but one of the things I'm trying to get at here is, well, what happens so, sorry, I should say it like this. So that's what happens if you've got an a to the negative two and that's in the, in the numerator, okay? What happens if I've got something like this, one over a to the negative two? What do I do with that? And this is where I see a lot of the mistakes happen here. Probably the best way to understand that is to go back up to here. And remember that that one is equal to a to the zero. So this is like a to the zero divided by a to the negative two. And so I can apply the subtraction of exponents, a to the zero minus negative two. And when I subtract negative two from zero, I'm gonna get positive two. So this becomes just a squared. So notice that, and again, I'll, I'll write this over here, that if you've got one over a to the negative two, that is equal to a squared, okay? So the negative is causing that, that power to switch sides in the fraction, whether it was in the numerator or the denominator, it's causing it to switch sides. That's really what I wanted you to get out of this. And before I, we finish up here, just a really, really common mistake. When you've got something like two to the negative three, very, very common mistake is to try to bring that negative down and make the expression negative instead of having it cause it to switch positions. This should be equal to one over two cubed, which then becomes one over eight. That's the correct answer, not a negative eight.